Hello everyone, welcome to DevTech Finance and this video is about net present value and internal rate of return. These two are the most important financial functions which we will try to understand the basic concepts and try to figure out how it is calculated in the Excel sheet. So let's get started. A very brief introduction of net present value. So NPV is type of capital budgeting technique where you decide upon whether to move with the investment decision in a particular project or not. In very simple words, it works on the basic concept that if cash inflows are greater than cash outflow, you would get a positive NPV and thus you could think about moving with the investment in that particular project. So when we are talking about the cash flows, cash inflows or whether the cash outflows so we have to bring all the cash flows to the current period of time and thus this is the reason why we calculate the present values of all the cash inflows and outflows inflows would be what you are getting as return and outflow would be what you are putting as an investment so the very simple concept is that if your investment is greater than what you are getting back as return so obviously your npv would be negative and you may and you would be going in loss in that particular project because what you are getting back is not higher than what you were putting in so if your outflows is greater than inflows you you would get a negative npv but if your outflows is lesser than your inflows you would get a positive NPV which means that your returns are higher than your investment so this is the basic concept of net present value that if you are getting what you are getting as return is higher you should accept that project and that project would give you a positive NPV and vice versa Coming to internal rate of return, the internal rate of return is a discount rate that makes the net present value of all cash flows from a particular project equals to zero. What does that mean? That means the internal rate of return specifies you a particular rate at which your net present value would be zero. So anything below that rate of return would give you a negative NPV. What does that mean? That means a negative NPV is a project which is not beneficial. You should not move with that project. So you should not make an investment decision in that particular project because what you would be getting as return would be lesser than your investment and you may go into loss. So internal rate of return specifies you that particular rate below which you would get a negative NPV. So it actually works as a hurdle rate. Now we would, we would see both these functions in Excel, how it is calculated. To try to understand this scenario, I have taken into consideration two projects, project 1 and project 2 with the same initial investment, which means the same amount of money I am putting in the current period of time, that is rupees 5 lakhs and the discount rate is 8%. What is this discount rate indicating? It is indicating the minimum required rate of return. You suppose you are putting uh, your investment in particular project. You know that you could put that money in bank also as a deposit. So from bank you would be getting about 8% or 8.5%. So that is your discount that is your minimum return which you would be getting if you would be putting your money over there so any investment which you would be ma making should give you a higher return than that so this is the discount rate we are uh, here i have taken an assumption of eight percent and we would try to use this discount rate to get our present values of all the cash flows so we would try to figure out the NPVs and IRRs for both the project and then we would try to compare which project would be beneficial. So let's get started with the function is equal to NPV brackets open. You have to put the rate percent. So select the rate percent that is the discount rate comma. Now you have to put the values. The values here are indicating the cash flows and take into consideration that here you have to add only the cash inflows so from year one to year five i would select close the bracket and then you can add the cash outflow uh, then you can add the cash outflow because that was a negative figure so plus and your cash outflow enter 
so this is your npv here you are getting a positive npv of rupees 374258 this means this project is quite useful you can move on with this project let's figure out what is the npv for project number 2 so use the same function is equal to npv brackets open put the rate percent comma select all the cash inflows from year 1 to year 6 close the bracket and then add your cash outflow that is 5 lakh rupees and enter see here we are getting rupees 55134 but it is a negative value and a negative value indicates that we would be getting into loss so this npv is not useful we should not move with project number 2 because we are getting a negative npv which is indicating that what we are getting as return is lesser than what we are putting as investment and here we we were getting a positive npv let me increase the font size so that you can see yeah so here we were getting a positive npv which indicates that project 1 was useful let's try to figure out how does irr works so is equal to irr brackets open put the values now see here when we are talking about irr we have to select all the cash flows whether the outflow whether the inflow we can select it at one time so select all the cash flows now it is asking you for a guess so this guess is any rate of return which you think at that value your npv would come to zero so it could be any number just take a random number 7% close the bracket enter and see you got your irr as sorry i am getting this in rupees but we want the irr in percentage term so let's convert it in percentage yeah so our irr is 29% Let's figure out the internal rate of return for project number two. So is equal to IRR. Brackets open. Put the values. Take all the cash flows right from the initial investment. In guess, you can put any number. Let's say nine percent. Close the bracket. Enter. And Let's see what uh, is the internal rate of return over here. So here we are getting five percent internal rate of return. To be more precise, uh, let's figure out in the decimal values. So that we can check whether at this rate of return we are getting a zero NPV or not. that's why we are taking decimals into consideration yeah so this is our internal rate of return this means that at the 29.35% uh, to be approx we would be having net present value equals zero so below that percent below this irr percent we just can't accept the project because that would be giving us a negative value that would be making us go in loss and for here it was 4.6 for something to be approx let's see by putting uh, this internal rate of return instead of the discount rate and see whether the npv is converting to zero or not so 4.644 205 enter see the npv is converted into zero this means that at this internal rate of return percent approx 5% we would be getting net present value equals zero so below 5% we just can't go with this project and same we can check for project 1 as well so for here the internal rate of return was 29.34653 and enter see again we get the npv into zero okay so when you have to compare between both these projects you know that what you got as npv uh, in project 1 was a positive number while in project 2 it was a negative number so obviously you should move on with project 1 more than that your internal rate of return was 29 percent approx in the first project and in second it was 5 percent approx however your discount rate was 8 percent so 
above than the discount rate. If your internal rate of return is higher than the discount rate, you should accept the project. And if your internal rate of return is lower than the discount rate, you should not move on with that project. So clearly we can visualize that project one is the project in which investment should be made. So guys, uh, this was the basic rules for acceptance and rejection which we saw if the IRR was greater than our minimum required rate of return which was our discount rate about 8% and IRR which we were getting in project 1 was about 29% so we accepted the project and when the IRR was less than the discount rate that we got about 5% and the discount rate was 8% so we rejected that project same ways it goes to NPV for project 1 we got positive NPV so we accepted the project and for second project where we got a negative NPV we rejected that project because we know that which project would be beneficial for us. I hope guys this video was useful to make you understand what exactly NPV and IRR is. Thank you for watching. Do like and share my videos and subscribe to Dave Take Finance for more such videos. Keep on track on my all videos. Thank you all.